Hello, my dear viewers welcome to the AI Medical School. In the previous video we studied, what is homeostasis, so in this video, we will study the role of various systems of the body in homeostasis, so quickly subscribe to the channel, and hit the thumbs up, let's get started. One or more systems are involved in the homeostatic mechanism of each function. Some of the functions in which the homeostatic mechanism is well established are described below. 1. The pH of the extracellular fluid has to be maintained at the critical value of 7.4. The tissues cannot survive if it is altered. Thus, the decrease in pH, acidosis, or increase in pH, alkalosis, affects the tissues markedly. The respiratory system, blood and kidney help in the regulation of pH. 2. Body temperature must be maintained at 37.5 A degrees C. Increase or decrease in temperature alters the metabolic activities of the cells. The skin, respiratory system, digestive system, excretory system, skeletal muscles and nervous system are involved in maintaining the temperature within normal limits. 3. Adequate amount of nutrients must be supplied to the cells. Nutrients are essential for various activities of the cell and the growth of the tissues. These substances also form the source of energy required for various activities of the cells. Nutrients must be digested, absorbed into the blood and supplied to the cells. The digestive system and circulatory systems play major roles in the supply of nutrients. 4. Adequate amount of oxygen should be made available to the cells for the metabolism of the nutrients. Simultaneously, the carbon dioxide and other metabolic end products must be removed. The respiratory system is concerned with the supply of oxygen and the removal of carbon dioxide. Kidneys and other excretory organs are involved in the excretion of waste products. 5. Many hormones are essential for the metabolism of nutrients and other substances necessary for the cells. Hormones are to be synthesized and released from the endocrine glands in appropriate quantities and these hormones must act on the body cells appropriately. Otherwise, it leads to abnormal signs and symptoms. 6. Water and electrolyte balance should be maintained optimally. Otherwise, it leads to dehydration or water toxicity and alteration in the osmolality of the body fluids. Kidneys, skin, salivary glands and gastrointestinal tract take care of this. 7. For all these functions, the blood, which forms the major part of the internal environment, must be normal. It should contain the required number of normal red blood cells and an adequate amount of plasma with normal composition. Only then, it can transport the nutritive substances, respiratory gases, metabolic and other waste products. 8. Skeletal muscles are also involved in homeostasis. This system helps the organism to move around in search of food. It also helps to protect the organism from adverse surroundings, thus preventing damage or destruction. 9. Central nervous system which includes the brain and spinal cord also, plays an important role in homeostasis. The sensory system detects the state of the body or surroundings. The brain integrates and interprets the pros and cons of these information and commands the body to act accordingly through the motor system so that, the body can avoid the damage. 10. Autonomic nervous system regulates all the vegetative functions of the body essential for homeostasis. I hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.